It's the perfect recipe for box office gold. Take one part music legend, mix in one part big screen drama, and just like that, you have a music biopic. From Loretta Lynn to Eminem, all the big stars have had movies made about their lives. And in 2014, the genre is giving us plenty more to sing about. It's the stage musical hitting all the right notes on the silver screen. You want me to produce your songs? Find a name and a sound, and then we can make something happen. Clint Eastwood's film version of Jersey Boys brings the story of the Four Seasons to life, exposing a whole new generation to their classic sound. Get past people, get past the hit me. He's the godfather of soul. And in 2014, James Brown's life story gets the big screen treatment. Playing the iconic role is relative unknown Chadwick Boseman, who says he's very aware of people's expectations. Oh, this is a huge, huge, I can't even put it into words, responsibility. But this year's most talked about biopic is the upcoming Jimi Hendrix story, All Is By My Side. You know, it's, for me it's colours. I, I want people to feel the music the same way I see it. Outcast Andre Benjamin is taking on the role of the rock legend. And the project's making plenty of headlines. With Jimmy's former girlfriend slamming the script, saying it's completely made up. Jabber is back from holidays and he joins us live at the desk. Hello, mate. G'day, how are you? Yeah, very, very well. Dude, why do you think these movies attract so much scrutiny? Well, I guess they're so hard to get right. You know, not all of them can be a walk the line uh, or a Doors film, as we were talking about before. Uh, you know, the, the recipe that you need for a music biopic, it starts with a beloved character. Um, you need, you know, someone that we all love. Uh, you've got to have some backstage drama. You've got to have the hit songs. You know, that's a big part of it. I think that's why the In Excess, you know, series that aired recently worked, not a film. Um, but it was also so familiar with so many Australians. Exactly, you know, yeah. Like everybody's calling out for another one and whether it will be ACDC. <clears throat> oh, that would be a good one. Mm. <laughs> that would be. Do you think Eminem was clever because he owned his own bio? What well, was a movie, Eight Mile? Yeah, he's actually oh. gone on record and said that is not a, a, a biopic. It's a, um, it's about growing up in Detroit about the same time. I mean, clearly oh, it is oh, a parallel. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, it is a, a biopic. Um, he was running so hot then. Uh, 2002, the film came out. Mm. He was off the back of singles like Stan, uh, Without Me. He was pr pretty much the biggest star in the world. The, the uh, movie won an Academy Award for Lose Yourself. Um, um, and I think people were really surprised by how good he was as an actor. Yes. And also, if you, if you look at that film, it's extremely authentic. Mm -hmm. You know, it's very gritty. Is it hard to confidently choose a lead to play that part of a biopic? Much responsibility. We had, it was Andre 3,000, 2,000, 3,000. <laughs> yeah. which, which, how many thousands is it? Well, with inflation, it's 3,300 <laughs> now. He said the responsibility on him was huge to play James Brown. Is it massive on, across all of them? Well, Andre 3,000, who's doing Hendrix, of course, he, um, I, I think the challenge, because we were just talking there about who is the right fit for mm. anyone, like who would you cast to be Kurt Cobain? So the pressure there is yeah. enormous. Macaulay Culkin. As Kurt Cobain, that could work. No, that would be a flop. He's got to come back, man, and look at him. He looks he looks like him. He's a kid, he's a musician, he's dedicated to the band. I respect everyone's going to oh, Facebook us and go, God. you're crazy. Yeah. Dabra and I just had a chat about who would play Michael Jackson, and I thought Chris Brown, the way he dances like him, and you said Justin, Justin Timberlake. Timberlake. Yeah. I, Absolutely. I, like Justin, I think that's a really good pick. It's What's tricky because everyone's got their own opinion yeah, about totally. who would make a perfect this and or that. You yeah. love the person, right? So yeah. you, if you think that the person who fills the role hasn't done them justice, you will pan that you know movie or film or you know it's tough yeah. you can't win no, in some ways yeah you exactly know? right I, I mean walk the line is one that gets referenced a lot uh you know reese witherspoon won the academy award for portraying johnny cash's wife june carter cash mm. and wyke and phoenix was you know brilliant was in that film yeah. but some people were like had trouble with him yeah but you watch that film it's fantastic yeah. What, yeah man the bob dylan film that took a really different twist though didn't it i like the way he said man <laughs> <laughs> Man, it did. Uh, take a tw twist. Six different actors, including Kate, our own Kate Blanchard and Heath Ledger, one of his last film roles. Um, you know, love him or hate him, it, Bob Dylan's such an icon. And again, what seems to run through all these films, and whether they're a success or not, is the notion that they are inspired by, inspired mm. in inverted commas. Did that work, that movie? 
Bob Dylan, I think, was received pretty well. I don't think it was a commercial sma smash, mm. not in the way of a movie like Shine. That was huge, because before that, no one even knew who David Helfgott was. No, he's, t he's touring later this year. I want to give him a shout-out. You can look him up on his website. Uh, Jeffrey Rush, of course, portrayed David Helfgott, and the reason that that works so well is not really the hits or the fact that we knew him or he was beloved, but the, the classic uh, movie tale of triumph over adversity. Mm. And when you look at the lows that he went to, the highs that he uh, reached at the other side, a beautiful film. And if you watch uh, Jeffrey Rush's acceptance speech on YouTube from the 97 Academy Awards, I, I was watching it before I came in. I had tingles up and down my spine. Yeah. I, I cried. It was beautiful. Fantastic right. Australian film. Mate, Jabba, great to see you, mate. Welcome back. And you guys, thanks for having me. All right. If you've got some suggestions on a band or artist who you'd like to see in a biopic, why don't you Facebook us? We'll be back with more of The Daily Edition in just a moment.